welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials brought to you by HollywoodPhoto.com. This is going to be lesson 41. Technically, it may be 41A because I'll probably do a uh, 41B follow up and show you a few other options. But <clears throat> this is 41. This is going to be the main part. And uh, this is basically another, comes from another user request. Um, I had someone post. A comment and said hey I would love to have just a button on my phone that when I go to bed tonight generally I need to wake up eight hours from the time I go to bed or ten hours from the time I go to bed I'd like to have a button where I could just press that button and it would set my alarm clock for eight hours and uh, the person mentioned they used alarm clock extreme um, well I, did, I myself also use alarm clock extreme and one good thing about Alarm Clock Extreme is it does use the built-in Android uh, Alarm API. And so if you set an alarm through Android, then the first time it'll ask you what alarm clock you want to use, you choose Alarm Clock Extreme and save, and then it will always use Alarm Clock Extreme. And uh, any good Android alarm clock should be set up that way to do that. Um, but the question, of course, is, well, how do we set up the eight-hour thing? Um, let's go into, uh, let's create a new task. We're going to call it 101 alarm uh, count, because it's like a countdown to an alarm. And... Let me show you the system and then set alarm. Well, that's how you set an alarm. Uh, but the only option the alarm has is uh, what time do you want to set it? What's the hour you want to set it for and what's the minute you want to set it for? Um, that's what this is. And of course, keep in mind, Tasker's always looking at things from military time. So it's gonna be more from zero to 23. Uh, 0 being midnight, 23 being 11 uh, p.m. And then minutes will be 0 to 59. And uh, so the question is, how do you take 8 hours from now and convert that into something that can be plugged into here uh, so that you can set the alarm? Of course, if you hit the little shuffle key, um, or switch key is actually what it is here. It switches it over to use a variable, so you can use variables. So that's your first clue, because you can imagine we are going to use variables. So the question becomes, well, what variable um, are we going to use? Well, we're going to plug them in here, and then we're going to work backwards, and I'm going to show you how we get to there. We're going to use the variable alarm time two, one, and alarm time to two. It may look like 21 and 22, but it is not. It is actually alarm time to one and alarm time to two. Um, and you'll see why as we go through the uh, setting this up. Now note that uh, you can uh, include a message, um, which would basically turn into a title for the alarm. And you can also ask for a confirmation. I'm gonna check that so that we have the confirmation. All right, so now we gotta figure out, that's gonna be the last thing that happens uh, once this is all said and done. We gotta figure out, well, how do we get those two variables? How do we take the time it is now, eight hours from now, and then set that hour to alarm time to one and set that the, the minutes to alarm time uh, to two. Well, the first thing we're gonna do, um, and this is ultimately gonna be at the end of our list, but we're going to uh, first uh, set the time using uh, seconds. And so we're gonna say, we're gonna go to variables and we're gonna say variable set, which I'm blind and I can't see, there it is, variable set. And the name of our variable is going to be alarm time. So alarm time. 
And what are we going to set alarm time to? Well, first we're going to use a built-in task or variable for time. And if you go down to time, you see time, seconds. So we're going to use time and seconds. And then we're going to uh, say it's going to be whatever the current time in seconds is plus uh, 28,800. Why? Because eight hours is equal to 28,800 seconds. So we're basically taking the current time in seconds and adding eight hours worth of seconds to it. So that'll get us the time that we uh, want uh, our alarm to go off eight hours from now. And you have to check do maths or else it will not calculate. So check do maths and that will calculate. So now we've got our alarm time set, but it's set in seconds. And as you saw in the alarm, Unfortunately, the alarm doesn't take seconds. It'd be easier if Tasker set it up so that you could use the time in seconds as a way to set an alarm, but it doesn't. So we have to uh, get it, get our new time from seconds to hours and minutes separated in two separate variables. So here's what we're gonna do. Now that we have alarm time set, we're going to convert it from seconds back to a slightly more normal time. We go to variables, we go to variable convert, and the variable we're gonna choose is alarm time, the one that we just set, and we're gonna change it from seconds to date time. So it's gonna go from uh, seconds, which we just con we converted, uh, took the current time in seconds, added eight hours worth of seconds, and set that as our alarm time. Now we're converting it from seconds back to uh, date time. And that's gonna, going to uh, 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 get stored in uh, alarm time. We're gonna just leave it in alarm time. We don't have to add that. If you wanted to store this in a separate variable, you would put that in there. But we don't want to store it in a second variable. We just want to store it back in the same variable that we sent in to begin with. That way we're working fewer variables better. And so now after this, we'll have uh, an alarm time in both uh, seconds and date. Now, one thing I want to do because it's important, I've shown you this before, but it's important to always use Flash. Flash is your best friend because you can use Flash in, when you're setting things up to help you out. By playing this now, I'm gonna long press that and hit the power button so that doesn't activate. I can flash and so, see, now I see the format. I see there's a date and then a space and then the time. And remember when uh, Tasker does time, it doesn't use a colon to separate hours and minutes, it uses a, uh, a dot or a decimal to separate hours and minutes. So now that we know that after we get the variable convert, uh, it is going to convert that time. And you can see it's currently 328, and you can see that's 2328. Well, Tasker does military time, so 328 and military time is 1528 plus eight would be 2328. So it's adding the eight hours just like we wanted it to. Now we just need to get the, the hour and the minutes uh, into these two variables to set the alarm. So easy to do that, we're gonna use something we've used before in several lessons and that's variable split. We're going to choose variables and then we're gonna say variable split. We're gonna choose the alarm time variable, and the splitter is gonna be space, because there was a space between the date and the time. And once we do that, I'm gonna move flash down here. Once we do that, we will have alarm time one will hold the date, and alarm time two should hold the time. And the way we can find that out is just go into our little tester flash and make that alarm time two and we shall see. Now if I push play, alarm time two is 23.29. That's exactly what we wanted. We got our hours and our minutes and that's what we need. But now we need to separate the hours and the minutes. 
So what do we do? Very simply, we variable split again. Variables, variable split. So now we're gonna split alarm time two, because that's what the time has been stored in. And we're gonna split it using the dot or the decimal. Once we do that, we're now going to have alarm time two one is gonna be the hours and alarm time two two is gonna be the minutes. Again, to make sure we've gotten that correctly, we can go over here and uh, we can say hour alarm time two one and then minute and alarm time two two. I'll we'll say long just so we can see it a little bit longer. And now I flash, look, hour 23, minute 30, which is exactly eight hours from the current time, which is 3.30. So it's working. Now we have everything we need, and the only thing we need to do now is actually set the alarm. So let's pull set alarm down. Let's go into that again just so you can see. We already set alarm time 2-1, which is the hours, and alarm time 2-2. Two, two. And then if you want a title in your alarm, you could put that in there. Some alarms do require that, some do not. Um, but uh, let's, just for fun, let's put it in there. And we'll put countdown since that's what we called it in task. Um, now let's long press it because that purple bar means, remember, we powered this off. We turned this particular activity off. Now we turn it back on, and so now when I press play, it should set an alarm for uh, eight hours from now, which would be in military time 2331. Hour 23, minute 31. And you got the confirmation, alarm set for eight hours from now. And that's because we checked confirm on there. And if we go into my alarm clock extreme, uh, you will see there's an alarm set for eight hours from now, 11.31 p.m. called Countdown. So it uh, seemed very complicated when I first looked at this uh, uh, problem, but I realized pretty quickly, I was like, okay, this is just a math thing. It's just figuring out the math to extract the correct hour and the correct time in order to uh, be able to uh, set it up the way that you want to set it up. So. Uh, this is the way you set it up, fairly uh, fairly simple once you see how it's done. Um, of course, this is set specifically for eight hours. You could change this to 10 hours or you could create uh, a separate, uh, entire separate task for 10 hours. The person who posted specifically said usually either eight hours or 10 hours. So you could just create a separate task. Of course, you'll have to press a little icon button and uh, give it an icon in order for you to be able to put this on your uh, home screen. So, you know, you can pick whatever icon works for you. Uh, let's just pick something completely random. I like uh, random icons, there we go, we'll pick the sun. So you pick the sun and then you long press on your home screen and add it as a shortcut or as a widget and you're good to go. Um, let's see if I can uh, do that now. I'm gonna have to move this out of the way. I'm gonna long press. I'm gonna go to find the tasker widget this particular home screen doesn't support shortcuts, unfortunately, but that's okay because you can do tasker shortcuts as widgets or shortcuts. Here we go, task one by one. So press that, 101 alarm count. So that should have done it. Let's see. You can't really see the sides there, but you can't see it because of that icon I picked. Um, but if we press that, you can see it flashed the hour in the minute and flash the confirmation. The alarm is set for eight hours from now. If we go to alarm clock extreme, you see another countdown alarm set for 11, uh, 54. And I got to delete all these or I'm going to get woken up a million times tonight if I go to bed. 
So that's how you set that up. Uh, again, it's uh, fairly simple. Um, I'll probably have a follow-up lesson where I'll show you some other kind of uh, interesting, cool things you could do with this to make it a little bit more complex if you want to. Um, but again, uh, you know, like this guy said, he just wanted something that would be a really quick button on his home screen to set it without any thought. And this is exactly the, uh, the way that you could do that. Anyway, uh, that's it for this lesson. Hopefully that proved useful to you. You learned a few things about dealing with time and tasker and how you can manipulate it to get the information you need as well as uh, splitting variables and things like that. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in, uh, uh, in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer when I can. And uh, be sure to check out all the Tasker tutorials if you just stumbled upon this one. A lot of great information, a lot of cool things you can do with Tasker, as well as uh, auto apps and things like that. And uh, check out my channel. I've got all kinds of Android app reviews. I've got a Android car tablet do-it-yourself series, which you might find interesting. And then I have a ton of product reviews with a lot of really cool gadgets and electronics and uh, phone and tablet accessories, as well as household products and dog products and some other things too. So be sure to check that out. Subscribe, like, share this video with anyone you think might be interested, all that fun stuff. Anyway, that's going to be it. Until next time, so have fun with Tasker.